so hello guys this is Robokishan again so in this video as promised earlier I will show my application which I use for GNOME since I switch from XFC to GNOME I have explained earlier so let's get started so first of all this is my application menu and as you can see i use mac ubuntu os dark gnome theme and for icon theme i have created why i created the icon theme so basically uh, because if you as you can see i like uh, sierra icon theme so that's why i uh, the only the folder theme so that's why i just choose a folder theme as a mac os sierra and other beta theme maybe i pronounce wrong i don't know so the default the uh, the my theme is actually inherited from adveta theme this one default and this is uh, dark theme actually i use uh, normally mac os simple theme i love mac os theme only the theme so this is like mac os dark theme it's query it's nice and I use uh, this extension for power saver and power performance mode this is the turbo boost of Intel and everything else now for text editor generally I use a uh, sublime text like uh, sublime 3 oops sublime 3 okay I generally use sublime but for a uh, programming purpose I just use atom like uh, if you can say sample.py so it is fully open source and another thing is that uh, okay there is a sample okay let's say import and then tensorflow as uh, and as you can see if i type dot then it will start suggesting me some options okay so okay it will take a lag sometimes but it works generally fine so that's it for programming purpose and another i am an android developer so there is android studio and let's take a look here there is android studio atom and uh, i don't use cheese i generally use gv guvc view uh, okay so uh, recently i am this recording so maybe there is the error okay now for uh tweaking purpose i generally use deconf editor editor and conky i will show you my conkeys as well and uh, for brow browser i use firefox most of time but for other reasons i also use google chrome so there is a 50 50 chances of browsing and google keep for notes game for thumbnail making uh, and other photoshopping stuffs filezilla for my servers uh, which i have to transfer file online and nautilus as well grub customizer to customize grub menu and theme of the grub font style and other stuff inkscape it is an open source best open source software for vector i mean vector image dot uh, svg file creating and the handbrake i don't use a file formatting in handbrake i generally use vlc it is very easy now htop yes i use htop in my main desktop daily as you can see everything is running on htop and also sensor so if you i have a nvidia gpu so if i use nvidia then it will start showing me the nvidia temperature so let's see if i run opti run python 2 then oops something yeah that's it that's it showing my nvidia gpu because it's turned on right now let's say exit now nvidia is off so it just go off that is fine so there are the application and other things okay so i use libreoffice i generally don't use ipython but uh, it stays in my system there is a uh, natron i don't use natron but 
OBS for screencasting, yes, I just use OBS only. Yes, there is a simple screen recorder also, it is very helpful for me, but for uh, pro reasons, actually, I have to move for OBS because it provides inbuilt uh, noise cancellation and other things easy. And pocket, yes, I use pocket for bookmarks and anything other stuffs. Master PDF Pro. So I have earlier said in my early videos that Master PDF Pro is a nice video editor for Linux. is free. It it requires some keys to perform some tasks, but basically all your basic tasks will be done in the free version. Then yes, NVDoc. So which NVDoc I have installed? I have installed. It. So when you say NV doc then i it is basically for a normal nvidia graphic card but i have a bumblebee enabled means i have two graphic card for intel and bumblebee so i have to use this one and as you can see it work well let's see yes it's working fine okay now another thing yes there is a symbol screen recorder uh, for my daily email service i use thunderbolt and as well as i use uh, gmail app in android and sometimes i log in through browser also but but thunderbolt made all things easy because i have a mail account from other services also so all in the one box that's it for thunderbolt now terminal yes telix is a very very good terminal i use telix so sometimes people ask me how did you make your telix looks like this so there is nothing fancier there is a telix install it using this telix okay that's it okay have you installed it? telix bin because telix don't work out me for well so then i go to preference and then then go to this default then colors and monokai i love monokai as you can see my atom theme also has a monokai now let's get around uh, other things so in my previous tutorial you have seen my uh, other things as well that uh, system preferences are showing up uh, as you can see this is the telix theme okay so let's this okay so how to do that there is a two program one is a neo fetch and another is a screen fetch it don't work out yeah what screen fetch maybe it's okay it's installed so you have to install just this screen fetch oh my God, what the? okay so as you can see there is a, a screen fetch and also a neo fetch it is a nice program also so let's install it okay so neo fetch is installed now first of all there is a screen fetch just run this and as you can see my original uh, linux comes in but the neo fetch has something more so as you can see it is showing me more my switchable graphic to two graphic card also but here it is saying only intel and is saying uh, so it uh, identify my second hardware as well so neo fetch is uh, smart enough uh, than screen fetch but uh, screen fetch is an uh, is nice also so basically it's on your need so if you have to tweak the colors so screen fetch has a help nice help menu and as you can see there is a dash c screen also output color so you have to just paste it c0 and 1 and uh, oops there is a problem okay 1 and 1 maybe it's work. yes okay one and one and you can type uh, one two so different color combinations are there and same thing happens for neo fetch dash help and uh, you have to search for color 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 there is a color so ascii color maybe something. okay there are some other okay you have to work around this so let's check it maybe it's it will not work and the default yeah it work it changed the color okay uh, for a so basically that's it and what you have to do is you have to 
uh, if you are using a bash uh, actually I use a fish shell so I forgot to mention that I use a fish shell actually how to install a fish shell so you have to just yaw at fish and then there is a oops there is a fish here so what you have to do yaw dash dash fish and after installing it you have to change your shell uh, password and user means fish whatever the path of fish so and how to uh, find a path so with fish and you will get a path you have to just uh, put it in here and then enter anything else doesn't require now if you are using a fish then go to config and then go to fish and then nano config dot fish and you have to just uh, put the command here neo fetch and if you have any color then put it here so it will work I am not going to save it right now because I don't require right now and if you have a bash so you can bash rc you have to put it in your in your bash rc command so that's it for bash and exit so okay now for uh, conky so which conky i am using i will link down all the conkeys in the description you have to tweak by your own your wallpaper because this conkeys does not adapt on gnome a wallpaper color i have to put my uh, white color white text in it and uh, uh, i have to bold it because it does not i can see another text is in this default conky script so i have to do that so you have to configure it by your own if you have any question on that customizing script let me know in the comment section so i will show you conky manager and i have installed linux today omg techcrunch because i love to reading news about tech so uh, there is a tech crunch here running and there is a BBC news. There is a Google news. There is a Linux today and OMG Ubuntu. There is a uh, GNOME tweak tool for tweaking GNOME applications. VLC and VMware. I don't use actually VMware quite well. Uh, but sometimes I have to use because of uh, Mac OS programming. That's it for applications. Now, uh, yes, this uh, all cast receiver. I use all cast receiver for casting my Android app to my laptop screen. And uh, l uh, let's move around to my favorite apps. So, there is a uh, Nautilus, Firefox, Terminal, Telix. Uh, there is a blue, blue man actually. Blue man is a application to transfer uh, your file from one device to another. Oops. Uh, okay so that's it and it's done on you have to search is it, it become easy for me to learn this like stuff okay there is a filezilla android studio atom sublime text under list and let's see if it done working no, it's not actually working. Ah, yeah, we got suggestion. As you can see, I, I can actually, uh, after dot, I can actually see the documentation of that uh, particular stuff. So it make me easy. If you want to know which plugin is this, just Google around auto complete in Python atom and we, you will get it. And there is a weather bug. There is an Inkscape, VMware, Gimp. I love GIMP and Inkscape. It is very nice application for editing photos and editing stuff. Google Chrome, GNOME Tweak Tool, and yes, OBS. There is a, ah yeah, uh, I use this application. It is the M Player application for webcam casting in your uh, desktop. So why I I don't use uh, OBS because OBS actually uh, there is a audio and video com synchronization does not fit in OBS. That's why. Okay extension no actually this screen recorder is running that's why my system running very slower and the program is here compiling oops so leave on uh, complete yeah so there is an installed extension and as you can see alternate tab my old tab please pause the video and see this because 
these are too many plugins I am using too many too many basically the required plugin is this this is the power saver and performance plugin it's a fabulous plugin so it is a, uh, yeah it is a CPU frag plugin yeah this is I will just turn on and then you have to performance mode and it goes in performance if you want to check so uh, if you type cats is devices system cpu cpu zero cpu frag scaling just pause the video and check it and then run it is in performance and if you change it for power saver and then yes it is in power server so first time it will ask your password then it will automatically add you in the changing uh, cpu governor and it works just fine it is a powerful thing because you have to just performance then power server you don't have to look around then uh, any software like windows and you have to put that software and run in background and anything stuff that is an annoying stuff and it is here so thank you guys for watching and if you have demand something else like this so i will put uh, let me know in the comment section